Peace, peace. What's good? What's good, everyone? That's right. Gotta like the Palo Santo stick, man. <laughs> yeah, the Palo Santo. Gotta clear the energy. Gotta clear the space. Peace, family. What's good with everyone? All right. Fatima Miller, what's good? JJ, what's happening with you? Mr. Aaron Allen, what's going, what's going on, man? Us. Bryce, what's happening, man? Alex Little, what's happening with you? Holiday music. What's good with you, man? All right, peace, what's going on? Divine name is Supreme Being. I want to greet everyone. Peace, how's everyone doing this evening? All right, I'm only coming on for a few minutes. All right. Need everybody to kind of keep in mind that um, this Saturday I'll be in uh, Birmingham, Alabama. Of course, I put the flyer up on my Facebook page. Hopefully some of y'all are on Facebook. I put it up on uh, IG, Professor Griffs. All right. Um, and now I'm on YouTube and kind of putting it out there to let people know Birmingham, Alabama, this, this Saturday, all right, it's Birmingham, Alabama this Saturday. And of course, uh, what's coming up next after that? Hold on. I'll tell you in a second. I'll tell you in one second. Yeah, this is that Palo Santo stick, man. You even do you know what Palo Santo is? <laughs> All right, I got you then. All right, P Professor Griff of Public Enemy, weaponization of black music, Blue Sea Sports Grill, one one sixteen. That's one eleven sixteen Loam Avenue, Southwest Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, that's this Saturday, December fourteenth at two p.m. The contact number is two zero five two four three seven nine five five. Can can like three of y'all call that number right now? Two zero five two four three seven nine five five. Let's see if the number works. Somebody do me a favor, call that number real quick. Two zero five two four three seven nine five five. Let me know if the number works. All right, you can you can cash out to get tickets. All right, you can pay at the door. It's Mo at the door, of course. Y'all already know that. All right, but I'll be there this Saturday, and I'll be dealing with the weaponization of black music. And I know y'all know that I'll be doing a rape prevention, uh, ladies' rape prevention self defense class in the ATL. All right, that's Wednesday the 18th, and of course Saturday the 21st. Saturday is at 12 o'clock, and um. Wednesday is at 7 o'clock. All right? Ladies only. Brothers, if y'all want to come help, y'all can help, but it's for ladies only. All right? Y'all can cash at me. That's dollar sign, Professor Griff. Come on and make it happen. All right? My online uh, course, the Alternative Black Studies course, is on course. All right? So we'll be launching it June, uh, January 6th. All right? So as soon as I, I put it up, y'all check it out. Uh, sign up, make it happen. If you would like to uh, subscribe and be a member uh, to the Serious Minds Institute, 
I'm gonna put that information out there also. All right. Shout out to Quan. Shout out to Shane Shakur. All right. Shout out to all of those those loyal Serious Minds family that's always tuning in. Really appreciate that. All right. Shout out to my man X Xavier. All right, X, what's good with you, bro? And of course, my queen, Miss Soleil. All right. Anyway, in the meantime, between time, got a few things. Had a few things I wanted to talk about. Um. Yeah, one, I'm just trying to figure it out, and maybe y'all can help me figure it out. All right. I'm really trying to figure out this Lizzo situation, y'all. All right. Um, yeah, I understand people are attention seekers. I understand people that probably that have never had attention in their life. Uh, people that, um, you know, feel that they want to empower themselves by pushing it to the limit. Um, I just say, you know, and I, and I humbly, not humbly, but cautiously, entitled this uh Lizzo with a question mark and Miss Universe. All right. I'm not even sure what to make of this sister's mindset and spirit. Um first of all it's been done before. Uh Prince had something going on like that. Um uh a few women have done that before. Women have been degrading themselves in black music, uh, black film, black television for a long, long time. And I thought we had balanced that out with the positive sisters that have stepped up to the plate. But here we are thrill seeking again. Listen, I'm not on here as an older man to a younger woman uh, trying to diss her or call her out. I want to point some things out to her, not necessarily call her out, but I like to point some things out. Lizzo, listen to me, love. You come from a long, long history and lineage of beautiful black women. All right. Throughout the, with their feet print permanently in the sands of time that have made their mark and left their mark for the world to marvel at. Nations marvel at the black woman once upon a time. So this is not to criticize you. This is to pull your coat. All right. Because there was nothing else to that outfit I could have pulled. I'm just saying, figuratively speaking, I just need to pull your coat and put you up on game. If you're looking for thrill seeking and you're looking for some attention, you'll get a minute's worth of attention. And when it's all said and done and your career is over with, that's what they're going to remember. Come on, Lizzo. I know you a talented woman because I heard a couple of your joints. You understand what I'm saying? I'm saying to you, you don't even have to do that in order to be successful. Peace, Quan. Lizzo, you don't have to do that to be successful. All right? Even the little bit I've heard of what you do, there's enough talent there, and I saw it that you ain't got to be super duper ultra super conscious and positive but you got to do better than that you understand what i'm saying when i first saw it i'm like nah she ain't do that that somebody got to be playing that's not and why would you want to do that for the world to see it's like i'm trying to figure it out uh were you the fat chubby kid that got picked on and now you need to express yourself and do what I'm like, whatever your intent was, I'm sure you have a valid reasoning why you put yourself out there like that, representing all of the other black women in black music. All right. And I know you're saying, who are you to judge? I'm not judging, but I'm just, I want to question some aspects of your thought process is all I'm saying. Do you realize, Lizzo, that the 5 to 10 to 15-year-olds are watching you and watching how this thing is unfolding? All right? I think it was Chuck D said that attention is the new currency. 
I think it was Black Dot that said they take the lowest essence of our culture and they give it maximum exposure. So now that you know that the cameras and lights are on you, this is how you're going to spend your two minutes of fame? Okay, five minutes. It's getting less and less. It used to be 15 minutes of fame. Now it's less than that. Sister, come on, man. I'm saying this as an older brother that's been in this game to a younger sister. Lizzo, come on. You got to do better, better than that, man. Come on. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not even coming down on you. I'm just saying to you, I'm trying to pull, help you understand and recognize and introduce you back to your black self and introduce you to an aspect of yourself that probably no one even told you that exists within inside of you. You a talented, pretty, chubby chick. And ain't nothing wrong being chubby. All right? I'm just saying to you, you better than that. Man. I know you better than that. Now, let me ask you something, Lizzo, between you and I. Just act like nobody else is listening. This conversation between you and I. How would your grandmother feel about that? How would Harriet Tubman feel about that? How, how about Sojourner Truth? How about Dr. Francis Crest Wilson? How about all the unknown women, all right, that you could have lined yourself up with their spirit, but yet they're not here because they sacrificed and jumped overboard on the ships, sacrificed them, them, themselves to save the children? How would they feel right now? How would your ancestors feel? How does your dad feel about that? How do your children feel about that? We cannot continue to disrobe in front of the world and think that it's okay because the world are looking at black people through the lens of Lizzo right now. So come on, sis. Here we out here working hard so that women are not snatched up and raped and beaten and molested and sexually uh, assaulted. And then yet you turn around and do that and you set us back a hundred years. Now, how am I supposed to stand up for young black girls and protect them and respect them when I got you doing that? Come on, Lizzo. You making my job really hard, sis. For real, and I'm appealing to you. There ain't enough money in the world that these people could pay you, sis, for you to do that. Because now, once that arrow leaves the bow, you can't call that back. The world has seen you now. See, but Lizzo understand, I'm sure Lizzo understands this. This world is sick enough to come pay her to do a lecture tour and come and put her and parade her in front of young girls. The platform and now the scene is set. And now that all eyes are on her, well, probably all eyes are on her and Nick Cannon and, and Eminem right now. Shout out to Nick Cannon. Bro, Nick, if you need me, I'm right here, bro. You got my number. You got my personal number. Matter of fact, I'm going to hit you up any other way. All right? I'm right here. So I'm saying. No, you're right, Gio. This is the hypersexualized time uh, for young girls, I guess, to show exactly who they are. But that's not who she is. Women, you're not your bodies. You're inside your bodies. I'm going to say that again in English. Sonny, what's good? Assalamu alaikum, sis. You're not your body. You're in, in your body. You asked me, did I like Eminem? Eminem's cool, but I don't like Eminem coming at Nick Cannon. Fuck that. I don't give a fuck how nice he can rap or what he could spit. Nah, man, I don't even operate that way, bro. No, wrong terminology. CEO, Illuminati, Maurice White. Wrong terminology, bro. We don't do dreadlocks. They're locks. White people call them dreadlocks. So I'm saying, Lizzo, come on. Press the pause button, sis. 
Rethink what you're doing. Fast forward. All right. Project forward. And then at 50, look back now on, on this move that you made. What's your next move? Because you're playing tic-tac-toe right now. You're not even playing checkers while other people are playing chess. All right. The industry has you exactly where the industry wants you. So they can see, you see, what we tell y'all. This is why they're snatching up black women. This is why they're kidnapping black women. Black women don't even respect themselves. Why should anybody go out of their way to uh, uh, respect and protect women like Lizzo? Look what they do. You're putting us in a position now. We got a decision to make, Lizzo. All right, you can call me. Shit, my number is 678-557-2919. Sonny said, I'm listening while driving home. All right, I got you, Sonny. Well, so we need to put Sonny and Quan and Alex and a few other sisters together and sit in a sister circle with, uh, with Lizzo over here. You show up to a basketball game? Come on, sis. Lizzo was feeling kind of good as hell at the Lakers game. All right? The Jerome Singer sat courtside this weekend on her phone while the NBA teams duped it out at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. Photographer snapped pics of her enjoying and her enjoying the action. And she acted surprised. So I guess when she kind of stood up and did an about face, yeah, they got a whole, 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 yeah. See, but this is the kind of stuff that Alex Little was talking about. We got to come on here and discuss this when we should be taking this time to educate ourselves and get knowledge of ourselves to raise our vibrational pitch, man. So everyone now is like up in arms. Y'all seen flabby flat asses before? Stop, man. Y'all see y'all seen double wide trailers before? I mean, why y'all? Why is everybody up in arms? What is it about the black woman's ass that everyone gets up in arms about? Whether it's flat, big, wide, round, whatever. Like, what is that about? And why is it that when they win the war, they always call it getting the booty or the booty? This is the language of racism, white supremacy. See, but Lizzo, don't be one of those 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 kind of industry made chicks that fall for this, man. All right. Yes, yeah, ugly. Phoenix Rising, Ross Child. Thank you very much. Really appreciate the donations. Really appreciate that. So Lizzo, no. We're not going for it, man. You actually set the culture back. All right? Yeah, the whole idea of the Sarah Bartman narrative. They snatched that woman up out of her homeland and took her to England and France and parading her around Europe, disrobing the woman, making mockery of her ass. And then some of the black women they took up out of Africa, they put them in human zoos in France and in America and other places. So come on, sis. Got to do better than that. So you really, Lizzo, you doubled down on a flirtation on Twitter and you bragged about it? Sis, this is nothing to be proud of. Okay, so now let me ask you this, Lizzo. What's the next move? Help me out. I am I'm part of a mindset that helps constructs conscious hip hop and want to see black women do better. All right. Yet now for the last few days, I've been getting text messages and emails. It's like, yo, what's up with your girl? I'm like, my girl who? Yo, you ain't see old girl at the game, I'm like, nah, I don't even watch basketball like that. Wow, what's up? And they sending me snapshots, and I'm like, nah, come on. Come on, Lizzo. 
I'm just saying to you, you better than that. And I know you can do better than that. All right. The black woman has been played too long. The black woman has been kicked, beat, used, sacrificed, burned at the stake, raped, molested, sold, traded, tricked, and a whole bunch of things. And now we get to this almost 2020 and you got to parade yourself around. See, now young women coming in the industry thinking that that's going to be the standard on what they have to do to be successful in the industry. No, you're right. Sodomized and a few other things. Now, just let us know. If you're crying out for some attention, then let us know. We're getting... We'll contact one of our doctors and have you lay down on the couch some way or something. All right? I know this is tough, love, but I'm your big brother and I got to tell you this. If nobody else will tell you, if you got yes people around you, oh, that was dope. That was fly. Yo, you got the internet on lock, man. You shutting the internet down, man. Stop that, y'all. Stop gassing this sister up. That is disgraceful. Anyway, on another note, Miss Universe, which we already knew, is black. Because the universe is black. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I offend some of y'all by saying black? Well, the damn universe is black. If you study the whole idea of the chemical key to black greatness, which is melanin, all right, the, the, the womb is black. The womb of the universe is black. This is what we come out of. We gave birth to ourselves coming out of darkness then into light. Matter of fact, there was light in the, in the womb. There were no windows in the womb because we, we looked at things with our third eye, not our two physical eyes. I don't mean to get super deep, but I'm just saying. Miss South Africa. Zoz, Zoza Bina, the beanie, Tun, Tunzi took home the Miss Universe crown on Sunday night. Let's give a round of applause for that sister. Give her a peace sign, black power fist. Round of applause, come on. I'm not going to stop clapping y'all until y'all give it up. For real. Not that we got to get their validation on how beautiful we are. I want Lizzo to be able to see Miss Universe to see how beautiful Lizzo is. So Miss Universe ain't got to show her ass to become Miss Universe. And this should be a lesson to us all. Now, I think somebody brought it to my attention. I think it was so late that Miss America, Miss Universe, and Miss Somebody is all black all at the same time? Wow. You help me out with them facts, Quan. She is the first black woman to win the pageant since 2011 and the first, and the first woman to do so with a natural Afro-textured hair. Let's give her another round of applause. Matter of fact, I just want to see black fists in the air with her natural hair, Lizzo. Are you watching this? Man? Somebody hit up Lizzo right now and say, yeah, Professor Grip is talking about your ass on his platform. Not necessarily talking about you, Lizzo. I want to talk to you. She did. She won, Lizzo. All right. She secured the bag. She secured the universe. She secured her place in life. Alex Little, thank you very much. I was pleased to see South Africa, a true representation of uh, black women, blah, 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 blah. Thank you, Alex Little, is a true representation of black women. But now what they're going to do is they the Lizzo thing is going to override and supersede their sister stepping up to the plate, showing young women now the essence of beauty. Lizzo, they fought wars over you. You just don't realize it, sis. Back to Miss Universe. But Miss Universe, 
who, who's worn her, her hair natural for three years, didn't want to change herself for the pageant. She said she wanted to show that beauty does not look one certain way. And she's absolutely correct. Black woman, you beautiful. From 18 to 80, young, dumb, blind, crippling, and crazy. Ball head, weaves, wigs, girdles, muffin tops, oversized breasts. It don't matter. I have big lips, small lips, long, tall, short. It don't matter. Tall like Quan, dark skin like Alex Little. It don't matter. You're beautiful. We have to carry that forward and let the world know that. I don't care if you're a triple, double A cup right now. You should be sticking your chest out, black woman, women, because this woman has represented for all of us, all of the black women. I'm sorry, bro. If you lay next to Bicky Asterflat every night, good luck with that. I'm, I'm not, I'm saying, but no, I'm, yeah, I'm just saying though. Yeah. So come on, y'all. So while black women are getting snatched up, y'all are focused on Lizzo's ass while Miss Universe is doing the damn thing, showing black children all over the world, especially uh, young black girls all over the world, that this is this is now um, who even their industry have chosen as the most beautiful woman in the, in the universe? Come on. It extends to more than just her hair, she added. It's about accepting yourself for who you are. Did you hear that, Lizzo? Accepting yourself for who you are. First of all, Lizzo, you got to know who you are. Anyway, I'm going to leave you alone. I hope it just inspires women to be themselves, their authentic selves, she said. And I quote, be yourself. Be your authentic self. Don't run no shit down to me that black women run, ran around in Africa uh, for a long time half naked. You ever been to Africa? It's 199 damn degrees in Africa. You'd wear less clothes too. But this chick was at a fucking Lakers game. So stop the madness. There's air conditioning at the Lakers game. And you walked in there with the double wide trailer showing. Stop that, man. Where'd I get this hat? I sell these hats. I don't know about the one with the ankh on them. I could get you probably one made like that with the ankh on it. And it got that crystal so it can absorb that radiation hitting my dome piece. But I'm just saying, you can order it too. Send me a text message, 678-557-2919. This is the official Serious Minds joint. Snap back. Anyway. I'm just saying to y'all. Let's not fall for it. Let's move with the momentum of what Miss Universe set in motion. All right. And let's begin to save our women, our children, and our girls and stop them from getting raped and snatched up and kidnapped and used and abused. All right. If you would like to donate to independent media, hit me on the cash app. That's dollar sign Professor Griff. Leave whatever you could leave. All right. Um, it would it would do me a lot better for my spirit and my soul. If you would donate, and if you can't take the online course, pay for somebody, sponsor somebody else to take it. If you can't do the subscription at $19.99 a month, do it for somebody else. But you got to be able to support independent media. All right? All right, cool. This is Professor Griff. Like I said, I was only going to be on it for a few minutes. I'm cutting these things down to 30 minutes a piece. Hopefully, I can come on two or three times a day. All right? I love y'all to life. This is Professor Griff, Serious Minds for Serious Minds. We have the Alternative Black Studies course coming up, all right? There's a free class at 5 o'clock on Sunday. I need y'all to hit me up at seriousmindsinfo at gmail.com or just send me a text, 678-557-2919. Join the class this Sunday, and let's go over this curriculum and see what um, I have to offer, all right? All right, I love y'all to life. This is Professor Griff. I am out. Revolution is not an event. It's a process, man. Peace, y'all. Peace. Protect and respect the black woman, y'all. 
No, you're right. Imagine a class room with 200 students. That's what we're looking to get, 200 students. Thank you for putting that number out there. We're going to speak it into existence. 200 students is what we're looking for. It's online. You can check it out on your, go through the class on your phone or your computer or your tablet. Serious minds for serious minds, y'all. Seriously, peace.